Navigation is an essential part of user interfaces. It helps users understand the information space they are in, including the available tools and actions they can perform. But how to create one that makes sense to the users and is considered good? In the third part of my UI UX crash course, we will explore navigation patterns, which will allow your interfaces to guide users on where they are, where they can or should go, and how to get there. Navigation helps users to find out what information and tools are available in your website or app, how the content and functions are structured, where they are country located, where they can go, where they came from, and how to go back there. Let's assume that you are working on a big website or application that is divided into sections, subsections, specialized tools, pages, windows, wizards, and other components. How can you help users navigate through all of it? Well-defined navigation links sequence maps, breadcrumbs or scroll bars indicate to the users where they are and where they can go with just one click. These patterns help users orient themselves in their surroundings and plan their next steps. You need to consider what navigation model your website or app should use to best serve your users. There are several well-established navigation models, so let's cover them now. First model is most popular on mobile devices, especially on iOS apps. As you can see, all of the most important areas of a website or app are listed on the home screen, from which users can access those areas by one click or tap. Then the user performs the desired action in a specific area and goes back to the home screen in order to access other ones. Next model is one of the most popular navigation patterns. Here we also have a home screen, but the navigation is typically located at the bottom or top of the screen and stays there as the user goes through the website or app, always indicating where he or she is. Next model is very popular on very complex websites with many subpages. Idea is that we have many levels of navigation. First, user selects the top level of the website or category and those subpages or categories have their own dedicated navigations. Sometimes this model combines with the previous one through usage of multi-level dropdowns, from which users can access the entirety of the app or website. But, as you can see, it requires more action from users. Then we have task-specific models, in which step-by-step -step and zooming are the most popular ones. Step-by-step -step navigation is typical for forms, slideshows, search engines and other tasks that require users to go through a specific sequence of screens. Typically, navigation occurs through next go back call to action buttons, or pagination with page numbers. Expansion of this model is called a pyramid where there is an additional navigation screen which connects the step-by-step -step ones and allow users to preview their progress. Last type of navigation model I want to cover is zooming. Most of the time you can find it in various apps that deal with large elements like graphics, photos or maps. When we are dealing with those large items, it would be hard to perform certain actions on them unless we provide the ability to zoom in or out, depending on the level of details that the user needs. Good navigation is extremely helpful for introducing new users to an application, dealing with errors and disorientation, performing tasks, and giving the user a sense of being able to operate efficiently. The approaches and navigation models presented in this video will help you provide the application with a UX that allow users to navigate it intuitively without having to pay attention to what they are doing. In the next part of this course we will cover layout which will allow you to properly structure various elements of your designs on the screen.